exciting to be back filming again how are you happy 2022 i literally i don't know about you but i am so excited for this new year honestly i feel like it is so needed at the moment i feel like this year is needed more than any year we've ever had i just can't wait to be filming again and creating content and stuff like that so first of all i want to say i hope you had a lovely christmas and new year's Secondly, I'm so sorry that I just completely went off the radar like that. If you follow me on Instagram, which I really recommend you should, this isn't just a plug, but if you enjoy my videos and you're like, where is she? I always update you guys on my stories about where I am, what I'm doing. Last night I done a QA and a on my story as well, just to have a little bit of a catch up before coming in and filming again, because I never planned to take a week off. I think because of my job, when you're self-employed, you're so hard on yourself. I think when you're self-employed, you're so hard on yourself. And for example, Bradley, he has an eight to five job, Monday to Friday. Then when he comes home, he switches off for the day or the week, or he has holiday like most jobs do. So it's really hard like saying to yourself, you need to have this time off because usually my mind's literally like go, 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 go. Like even before I go to bed, it's still going. Like my mind doesn't stop. I'm constantly thinking about the next thing, the next project, my next video, what I'm gonna do, my content, like, it's just constant in my head. I'm like, oh my God, I haven't replied to this email. I need to do this. It's like, ah. <laughs> and I thought to myself, you know what? We've got such a busy period over Christmas anyway, seeing family. I'm gonna put too much pressure on myself by filming because I know the content isn't gonna be up to scratch. I even film my Christmas day for you, which, I've still got the footage. I'm not sure if you guys want to see it because I feel like it's a bit late now, but it was very similar to last year's one. I even filmed it with the intention of uploading and then just got so busy, like everything just got manic. And then I started getting really ill. It wasn't COVID, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm really shocked about, but I do feel like anytime anyone's ill, your first thought is, is it COVID? <laughs> we can obviously still catch colds and like the flu or whatever. So um, I think I just had a really bad cold because I think my sister had it as well. Me and Braddy done, I think we done like seven tests each or something. It was ridiculous like over the Christmas period because we obviously were seeing family and like my little niece and nephews and we didn't want to give anything to them. And luckily by the time we saw them, we were actually fine. But we were like, have we got it? What's going on? So I think that was my body's way of just saying, 
stop. Luckily all the tests were negative so we knew we didn't have it. It was just, I think it must have just been a cold or something going around because I had a few people had it so <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But luckily I feel fine now and it was really nice just to take a week off and do absolutely nothing. Other than seeing like family and friends, which we've done a lot of, when we were at home we were just doing nothing. I say doing nothing. Bradley was doing nothing. I was cleaning. I feel like I've just done non-stop cleaning. And then I've just been organising. I've done the kitchen. Like, the kitchen has completely transformed since I last filmed. Completely transformed the floor, the sides. We've got new lights. Like, it's just really exciting. So, obviously, I'll show you guys that in a minute as well because I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm currently filming this at quarter past two. And the light is going down already. <laughs> That is one thing I also look forward to about like the new year is it, it starts getting darker a little bit later but then when it's like a cloudy day like today honestly there's just it's been like this all day I've been waiting I was like okay, I'll wait till like lunchtime because usually the sun comes through these windows at lunchtime but no still nothing so that's fine but yeah it's just really exciting coming back and filming again i also wanted to show you guys which i've had so many questions on i done a q a over on my instagram story last night just about having a catch up and the sort of content you want to see and stuff like that and so many of you are like what did you get for christmas we want to see what you got so i for you guys honestly so the date today that i'm filming this is monday the third i have kept everything in the packaging and like I haven't taken anything out since Christmas day because I was like oh you want to see what I got and I didn't want to use it and then yeah so I've kept it in there for you guys so I hope you appreciate that because honestly it's been so hard not to use so many of these products these presents are from most of them are from Bradley and um, some of them I actually got from Lit Fantastic some of them are from Bradley's mum and dad and then it's just from like mixed people so yeah let me show you so I've set you up on the floor because that's where all the presents are so Bradley I'm not gonna lie he absolutely <laughs> smashed it I think this will be our last year of like proper gifts to each other because after this year we need to be a lot more sensible and when we've bought our house I feel like then we can then get gifts and stuff again but I feel like this is going to be the last year of splurging a little bit so yeah we just get really excited and we always say like when we see something we're like oh we'll just get it and then yeah so he got me something from a brand that i actually discovered on instagram called ltl london and they sell i think their motto is where luxury meets affordability i love it i think this is such a lovely bag it honestly like the quality of this bag feels insane and um, i love everything about it i love the size i mean to be fair if i was being really picky i'd want it a little bit bigger but I do love it. I love everything about it. I feel like this is such a good little day bag if you're going anywhere or like a night out bag. Not that I got many of those. But yeah, I love it. I need to obviously take that tag off. But how cute is this? And the quality of it, honestly, feels insane. Secondly, he got me things from Olivia Burton. I did pick these. We were in Covent Garden together. And when we went to London, Olivia Burton, and I love all of their jewellery. Like, it's such amazing quality. I love the whole branding, and I love how girly it is. It's so pretty. So, he got me some things from there. I bought this watch, but we just put everything in the bag, and then I forgot about it. And then at Christmas, I was like, oh yeah, I bought that. <laughs> but he got the rest. So, um, this is the gorgeous watch that I got. I love how it's got the gold and silver. At the moment, I love incorporating both gold and silver into like my jewellery. So my necklaces are like, that's gold. This is like light gold. I don't really know what it's called. And then I've got some bracelets here, which are silver and then one of them's gold. And then a gold watch strap, which is just my Apple watch. But I wanted like a smart watch to wear on like, we forget out for dinner or anything like that. So I picked that up. I also got, it's like one ring, but it's a crossover, if you can see. It like crosses over. So my camera overheated, but I was just saying that I love these rings. I think I might pop them on my middle finger, but 
I have had an accident with a knife <laughs> and my finger. So this is actually swollen a lot here. It's got better to be fair. So I'm gonna wait for the swelling to go down and then I can pop the ring on. But I just thought it's so cute. So I've got two gorgeous bangles. I got silver and then gold and they are obviously to go on my wrist here. I just love them. Like, I literally love them so much. I'm gonna pop them on right now. Oh my God, I love them. I literally love them. I'm not sure whether to put my Pandora on or not. I actually think I like it without it. It's quite nice to not have anything dangling. So I'm gonna put this, like these two bracelets in here. So yeah, those were some items that Freddie got for me from Olivia Burton. I paid for some, but I just thought they are so cute and just nice to wear like every day. So I'm really happy with them. So next up, these are some items that Bradley's mum and dad got me. So I literally like it, they're so sweet. Every single year they get me a huge stocking filled with the most lovely gifts ever. And it's just so sweet. I've got some stuff to show you downstairs that they got me from the White Company, which is my favorite shop ever. But another one of my favorite brands is Neom. I am obsessed with Neom. I haven't tried all of their products, but the products that I have tried, I love so much. This is the best bath, 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 bath. <laughs> the best bath foam, there we go, um, you will ever try. It's incredible. And it looks really lovely in your bathroom as well. So this is what it looks like. And then you literally open it up, pour some of it into your bath while the tap's running and it will create the most incredible foam and your skin just feels so soft afterwards. And it smells like a spa. So they got me that, which I was just like, wow about. And then I also got a happiness scented candle. So I think I'm gonna pop this in the bath or my bath tray with the luxury bath foam um, because oh, it just looks so lovely. They also sell bigger candles. Oh, I'm so happy with this scent. It's called the Happiness Can Happiness Happiness Candle. I can't talk because it's been ages since I've spoken. Um, I also picked up some things from Look Fan from Look Fantastic. I didn't know Look Fantastic now stock Joe Malone, which I was really happy about. So they really kindly gifted me some items. So I thought I could show you. Um, I got the. Jo Malone English Pear and Freezer Candle. I always feel like I say that wrong. Is it Freezer? Freezer, I think that's right. Which is just so amazing and fresh. It looks like this. How insane is this packaging? I've got a new obsession with ribbed packaging and like ribbed glasses and stuff. I really wanna get some ribbed drinking glasses but I can't find any anywhere that are like affordable because I don't wanna spend like 50 pounds on one. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> I've tried to look on Amazon because I've seen them on TikTok, but I can't find the ribbed glasses. So does anyone know where I can find some ribbed glasses from? Because I need them. But as soon as I saw that they'd done this, I was like, okay, I need this. So I picked that up. And then I also got a lime and basil, lime basil and mandarin body and hand lotion. So this is a cute little mini one to take away anywhere. Even though I never really go anywhere, but you know. Look fantastic. Also gifted me this which is neon which i actually got before i opened the present for buddy's mum which honestly i'm still so happy about because i go through this bath foam like there's no tomorrow so yeah you get the bedtime hero bath foam and then this is the bedtime hero pillow mist how cute is that so they gifted me that which i'm really excited about so it's actually nice to have two of the different bath foams that i can use one in the evening and then one in the day. Bradley picked up a lot of my favorite tissue masks from Garnier. He gets me these every single year. So I'm so happy to be stocked up because I feel like I've either got loads or none. So I'm really happy to have loads of them. He also got me bath salts. Now, I told him to get me these because I bought these from Waitrose. It must have been like a month ago. And when I went to use them, just before Christmas, I was like, Brady, where are my bath salts? And he was like, what do you mean? I've used them. 
I was like, okay, I'm glad you had a nice bath. <laughs> um, he thought they were his because he bought some bath salts, but I mean, I don't think he would have bought some Restoring Care Coconut and Pamper and Smooth bath salts, but here we are. He did apologize and buy me new ones, so. <laughs> Bradley got me these because dairy milk is just my favorite chocolate ever. Some wax melts. I feel like wax melts are just such a good stocking filler. Oh, I got these masks as well to go with the other sheet masks. They're like eye ones. So he got me this really lovely bracelet, but they sent him the wrong color. So they sent him the rose gold and not the gold, which is so annoying. Um, but it's by a brand on Etsy and it is just such a lovely bracelet, but it's rose gold, which is so sad. So he said he's gonna message him because he did order the gold, so I'm not too sure what happened there. He got me these from Sainsbury's. I was, we were actually shopping together and I was like, oh my God, I love them, but they're not really something that I wanted to buy myself. And then he obviously didn't tell me. And then when we were opening presents, he was like, I knew you liked them. So he went back to Sainsbury's to get them. Um, and they're just really nice, like ribbed jar. Like, can you see my obsession with ribbed at the moment? So they look like this um, and you can just store different things in them. I think I'm gonna store like cotton pads, um, cotton buds, Little things like that to have on my dressing table. Got me some Gymshark um, gym wear, which is really lovely and motivating. I just got some nice, like, long tops. Look how nice this colour leggings are. Like, the material of them feels amazing, but this colour is just me in, like, gym wear. And then got this, like, jacket kind of thing. Like a zip-up one. So I'm so excited to get back into the gym finally and wear that. One of my favorite presents that he actually got me were these. And these are daily affirmation cards and I am obsessed with them. So I think it comes with, oh, 30 days of gratitude. That's a really good idea. So these cards, so inside they look like that. And then you pull this up and then you can basically like either take them out or leave them in the box. Pick whatever card you want, pick a card. Right, what card do you guys want? I think you want this one. Imagine if that was the one you picked. <laughs> so it's nice to have these by your bedside table or anywhere like that. And then you can pick one up a day and then it just helps you get in like a really positive mindset for the day. So this card says, I believe in my dreams and I won't stop until I achieve them. I love that. It's sort of like having someone in the morning to be like, you can do this, come on, get up, do what you wanna do. So I love them. So I'm gonna put them on my bedside table. He picked me up some cookbooks, which I was really happy about. I love Nutella. So this one was like an absolute must. One of them, which I was really shocked about, was this one. So he got me Jane's Patisserie cook or baking book. And I actually use her recipe for the like, my like cookies and, sorry, there's an airplane going by. Um, I actually use her recipe for any cookies that I bake or the Kinder Bueno like cookie bites that I made. So I just think she's amazing and all her recipes are insane and I feel like there's nothing better than an actual cookbook. And the funny thing was, the night I was making the Kinder Bueno bites, I said to Bradley, I was like, oh, please can I use your phone because I was watching YouTube of mine and my iPad was upstairs and I was like, can I just quickly like, look online just to get the right measurements? So he gave me his phone and I was like on the web looking at the measurements. And then he said he bought the book before he even realized that I used all of her recipes. He just sort of looked at it and thought, Amy'd like that because I like baking. And he was like, as soon as I saw it online, I was like, oh my God, what a perfect match because it was Jane's Patisseries. Well done to Bradley for that. I was very impressed with him. Oh, he got me this. The rest of the note stuff is downstairs, but I did pop it on my Instagram story and on my January highlights, which is my new highlights. This is just a really nice organization sort of like planner. You've got your days here, to-do list, notes. So yeah, and a nice pencil as well. So that's from WH Smith, which is amazing. Oh, and then one of my favorite things that I got, <laughs> this is when you know you become an adult, isn't it? <laughs> is this chopping board. How nice is this? This is from Sainsbury's again. And I cannot wait to go downstairs and display this and make it all lovely. And I thought we could do that together today as well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And I can't wait to go downstairs and show you guys the kitchen, but also display this as well. So 
really excited about that. So yeah, my camera cut me off, but I wanted to say that was most of the stuff that I got for Christmas. Some of the stuff I have taken out and I have used, um, but I've been really spoiled. This isn't by any means a brag or anything like that, but I've had so many messages like, please can you just show us what you got? Um, so I thought I could, but yeah, I'm not bragging or anything like that, so <laughs> don't worry. Anyway, I'm now downstairs and I thought, sorry about the mop and stuff in the background, all of this needs to go to the tip because that is broken and there's some rubbish by the door. But I'm now downstairs and I wanted to show you guys the kitchen because I'm so excited about it. It's been a little project of mine that I wanted to do over like the Christmas period. I was planning on filming it and then obviously <laughs> decided to take a week off, but I just love it and I really can't wait to show you. So are you ready? So I'm gonna pop a picture on screen now of what the kitchen looked like before. But this is after. So we have completely transformed everything. This was me and my mum. Oh, my washer just finished. Um, so we've done the flooring. We've put marble vinyl wrap all around the sides. We've added lights in there. Um, obviously everything is really different. It feels really like echoey in here, as you can tell. All the Christmas stuff is gone there's like no clutter or anything like that um i do feel like this side here does look a little bit cluttery but um it's fine because we are getting more storage over here in a minute which i'll show you so we've gone for a gorgeous marble wrap which is actually from amazon um i'll pop a link to it down below please don't mind my finger um and then on the sides here we've just gone for the vinyl sort of tiles which were up there already and it just made sense to do it along there um, and I feel like it ties in really nicely. So this is what it's looking like. I've actually got some new White Company soaps and stuff because I've actually just used <laughs> some refills of other products in here. So um, I'm excited to get like brand new White Company ones because I actually got them a year ago, like last Christmas. So we'll do that really soon. And then I've got a little aloe plant, which is real, which I don't know how we're keeping alive, but hey ho. And then over here, we have the velvetizer. I really want to get the white one. It's really ruining my vibe, this color. I really want it to be gone, but <laughs> it isn't broken. So it's one of those things where it's like, oh, do I just get it because I'm being picky or do I just stick with this one? Let me know in the comments what you think. I personally really want to get the white one, but I don't know. And then we've got the same um, kettle and toaster. Um, this is our new coffee machine, which obviously I showed you guys this morning. I need to empty out that oat milk. And then we've put in lights all underneath here. As you can see, it makes such a difference. Um, and then this is the new chopping board, which, which I've literally just popped here, um, which is from Sainsbury's. And then that chopping board here is from, where are you from? TK Maxx, I think. And then the cooker and stuff is the same. And then over here, I never show you guys over here because it is a mess and our kitchen is really tiny. But I'm doing it. So um, I actually done the flooring myself. I don't know how I done it, but I managed to do it. Um, it's basically like massive vinyl stickers, which are like, basically, as you can see, from like there to there. Um, and, then, and you just peel them off and they are so easy to use. But obviously I had to do it like in a pattern. So the whole thing in here took me an hour and that was it. There's like a couple of gaps, this one, which is really stressing me out but it's fine because over here we're actually getting basically like an extension of this um like a massive kitchen cabinet and it'll have like a little worktop as well so we're getting rid of this trolley because um at the moment it's just got drinks under there like a jug a costa coffee thing and then some pans and all of this and then what's in these baskets are going to go in that new cabinet so in this one we've got cereals and like porridge and stuff and then this is the baking one, which will be put in that cabinet as well. And then there's just a spare chopping board there. But uh, yeah, this is what it's looking like in here. I'm literally so happy. So um, the kitchen cabinet thing will be delivered in a few days, which I cannot wait for. Um, and then I've ordered some more of this marble wrap. So I'm going to wrap that worktop as well. So it all sort of links in together. Um, and then over here, we've just got some baskets, which have got like snacks in, wax melts candles, vitamins, <laughs> bin bags, they're all labelled here as you can see. So yeah, it's all looking a lot more organised in here as well. In these cupboards we haven't actually got a lot, 
this is all we've got which is quite nice to have actual space so yeah that's literally all we've got in those cupboards and then down here we've got some stuff like baking bits and that and some cleaning stuff which are going to go into the new cabinet and then i also bought some organizers two of them here to go in the cabinet as well so hopefully when that comes i can film it and then i can't wait to show you so that is the update of the kitchen so we're just waiting for this bit and then everything that's in there and in there is going to go in the new cabinet basically i'm literally loving it i can't believe how much of a difference it's made just adding those lights which i think i got for nine pounds nine pounds and you can extend them to like how long you want them as well so if we wanted to we could have like put them all underneath here but it's actually really bright in here already so i think it would have made it a little bit too bright but we do love it so it's just made such a difference and it looks like such a i feel like it's just more of a cleaner kitchen so yeah i'm so pleased with it let me know what you think of it in the comments down below and then in here so the hallway's the same obviously we've just got rid of all of like christmas decor have you guys seen the downstairs toilet this is what the downstairs toilet looks like I need to get rid of those nails. I need to like have a day where I just do the little tasks like getting rid of like the screws and stuff and the walls and doing things like that. But yeah, this is literally just our downstairs toilet. Don't know if you guys have seen that before. And then in here, these are all of the incredible things that I wanted to show you that I got from the white company, which is crazy. Some of it I bought and then some of it I got as presents. And then I also got some things from Rituals. We've got doggies here. Luna's on her period. So she's really feeling sorry for herself. It's so sad. She looks like she's in so much pain and it's really horrible. So we've had to put a blanket there. But it honestly feels really empty in here. Like there's just some telly on there, but the tree has gone. We've just got rid of, we used to have two dog beds, but every morning we woke up to both of them in one and we were like, you know what, it's taken up so much room. Let's just get rid of one and then they can just share. And they're actually really happy about it. So that's there, everything is gone, like the tree has gone. Um, over here is just my screwdriver for when the cabinet comes in the kitchen. Me and Bradley can put that up, so I didn't want to put that away because that's going to come in the next day or two. Hello Lottie. And yeah, it's all looking really empty in here, but it's actually so nice for it to be really clean. The only Christmassy thing, I'm sure you guys can see, is this cushion. So I've actually ordered some stuff from Dunelm. <sighs> Um, yeah, I've actually ordered some stuff from Dunelm, which is going to come soon. I got some new cushions, um, some new... Why is it every time I sit next to them, they just play? It's so noisy. But yeah, I got some new, like, light shades slash chandeliers and some, like, new homey bits. So I'll show you guys that when it is delivered. Don't know when it's going to be delivered. I feel like you never know these days <laughs> with COVID and that. It's like, when it comes, it comes. So I'll be getting rid of this cushion soon, but it's really nice to have one there because every time i edit or something it's nice to just lean on so yeah but anyway i want to show you guys all the stuff that i got from the white company recently because i want to redecorate things in the house i want to redecorate some stuff in the house not major things but all the soaps in the bathrooms um, i always buy them once a year from the white company and then throughout the year i just buy like refills from b m and stuff and just refill them up but it gets to a point with like actual dispensers um, it just clogs up and they sometimes get mouldy and it's a bit gross. So I reuse them for a year and then I've got new ones. So I wanted to show you guys some bits that I got. I've also got some candles and like diffusers and stuff that I wanted to put out in the house just to make it smell like a fresh new year. So I'm excited. So yeah, I want to unbox it because honestly, there's the biggest white company bag that I've ever seen. Me and Bradley went to Blue Water to see our family and we went there. I got some stuff from the white company and I didn't realise I had a bag that big. <laughs> it's crazy. Are you ready to see it? So these are like the normal slash big white company bags. <laughs> and then we've got this one which is actually huge, it has to go over your shoulders. So, how crazy is that? So, <laughs> let's unbox all of this because I am so excited to finally put everything out in the house. I actually want to unbox what I've got from Rituals first. I feel like this is 
a new brand that I have recently discovered. Obviously, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Obviously, I've heard of Rituals, but I've never actually fully shopped there before or had any home products. I've had like bath products, I think, and like body washes, but never home stuff. So, my lovely cousin and his fiance, who are literally, like me and Bradley, just love them so much. We went and stayed with them for a few days. That was when we went to Blue Water. And they got us a really lovely present from Rituals and it is their Tangerine Tea Candle. So I opened it up, it looks like this. Like, can we take a moment? How insane is this packaging? And honestly, it smells incredible. Like, it's one of those candles that I don't wanna light because it smells that good. Obviously I will, but oh my God. It smells amazing. So ever since then, I feel like it's taken me that one product to be like, okay, I love this brand. So me and Bradley went into the Brighton one, which I didn't realize they had. And the annoying thing is we didn't have very long, so I couldn't like shop in there for ages because Bradley was like, come on, we're on a time scale, like we need to go. So I was just like, la la la. Then I was like, okay, crap, we need to leave. I definitely would have bought more if I could and if we were allowed to stay there, but... <laughs> Bradley was like no we can't so I picked this up but this is a it's basically like a room spray it's called parfum interior which basically I think it means room spray correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> but basically when we went to my cousin and his fiance's house they're called seven Ruta when we went to their house she gave me the candle and then I was like oh my god we're talking about rituals and then she was like I'm obsessed with it she was showing me all the diffusers that she has and then she showed me a room spray. It was a different scent to this one. Because I feel like the scent she showed me, she, 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 I said that right, didn't I? Yeah, she showed me, was, it smells like their home. It's unbelievable. It's called Oud. And it smells amazing. But I smelled it in the shop and I was like, it just smells of their house. Like, I wanted to buy that one, but it smelled of their house. So I was like, okay, I'll try a different one. So this is in the scent Sweet Jasmine. She was saying to me, you literally need like one spritz on your sofa or the curtains or like in the room and the scent lasts ages and she showed me and it was insane so oh my god that smells amazing this is in the scent sweet jasmine oh oh my god that smells amazing i might have to buy the diffuser of that um, and I definitely want to buy a diffuser because they've got them like one downstairs, one like in the hallway and the whole house smells insane. Oh my God, that smells amazing. I'm so happy I went with this one. And that scent will last ages. So if you have any like odours in your house or you feel like it, you can't get it to smell nice, try that. I can't go over that. I genuinely think I'm going to buy the diffuser and stuff now online because that smells insane. So yeah, I am obsessed with rituals i feel like it's a new brand that i'm gonna be like in love with do you know when you just i don't know i just as soon as i smelt that candle when i opened it i was like i'm obsessed i love this brand so from the white company now i feel like so many people bought me stuff for christmas from the white company this year and um, bradley obviously did bradley's mum did his sister got me i think she got me this from the white company i bought myself stuff from the white company <laughs> because you guys know I'm obsessed and it is literally my favorite homeware brand I love it so much I just love how you can buy stuff from there and it, I feel like it just transforms your home and little things you don't have to buy like the massive stuff but when I went into the store in Brighton which was amazing I actually preferred that one to the blue water one which is weird because it's a lot smaller but I actually found more stuff in there that I like. It was nice to actually go in there and go shopping. The Vista one I love too, but obviously that's some stuff that's like more in sale, so they didn't have like every cent. So yeah, anyway, let me show you. I feel like, sorry, I keep moving the camera, soz. I am obsessed with this. And um, this is a oven mitt. I love this, like literally, I'm obsessed. Um, I've always wanted this oven mitt and I finally got it. So Bradley's mum really kindly got it for me. I had no idea, honestly, no idea. I In my head, I was gonna buy things like this in the new year. But as soon as I opened it, I was like, what? So lovely oven mitt. I can't find the matching tea towels. I can't find them. So 
I'll have a look online to see if they keep coming in stock. If you guys know where I can get them or like similar ones, let me know in the comments. Um, or oh, this is amazing. So Buddy's mum got me the Spa Luxury Bath Oil. I love bath oils. I feel like they just, they make baths so much more luxury. I feel like my skin feels smoother and like the scent lasts longer. I don't know if that's just me. So I'm so excited to use this and pop this on the bath tray as well. He also got me this, it's like a little ball ball. How cute is this? So this is in the scent seashells. I think seashells is my favorite white company scent ever. And you guys know I love the winter scent from the white company, but I think seashells just tops it. It's amazing. So this is so cute. I'm going to pop this. It's like a little ball ball. I'm going to pop this in our little in our bathroom and um, cuz I've got little <laughs> I've got little hooks. So I'm going to pop it on the little hook. Um, and I just think this is so cute. So got that. Oh, I can't remember who got me this. Maybe it was Buddy's mum. This is a home spray called Midnight. That smells amazing. That actually smells like aftershave. Oh my god, Bradley is going to love that. He's going to want that in the bedroom, I think, because that smells... That smells really manly. Ginger, cardamom and amber. That's really lovely. Um, I think Bradley got me this. This is the White Company Day Eau de Toilette. So this is bergamot, apple and jasmine. Do I just pull? Okay. Oh, that is so fresh really lovely i love that this is something that i was honestly so happy to receive Bradley got me the seashells ultimate bathing moments so i just he also got me um the seashells fragrance oil which he popped in here but it didn't actually come with that so inside you get seashells bath foam a candle and then a huge body butter how insane is that so i literally feel like i'm gonna relax so much and have the most luxury baths because this honestly smells amazing and i just can't believe how much stuff there is for like relaxing and baths and stuff like that one of my favorite purchases from the white company that Brady got me were my new slippers <laughs> i love them honestly so i think this is like the new season ones and I'm obsessed, they are so furry. Online, I tried to look to see if they're online for you guys to link in this video. I'll pop a link down below so you guys can keep checking to see if they come back in stock because online it says out of stock, but if you go in store, we honestly saw so many at the time. So I would recommend going into store. If you can't find them online, I picked up some seashells, a lotion. So we've got some soap and then hand lotion here. And then I also got a tuberose and cashmere, um, which is the same. It's the hand and nail set like this. But this one actually came as a gift set. I couldn't see the seashells one in store. I bought these ones, by the way. Um, I picked up a seashells home spray because it just smells insane and then an oil so bradley actually got me an oil as well i don't know where i put it i think it's back in that box so i've now got two oils which i'm so happy about and then in here in like the world's biggest bag ever i have a box and i wanted to get a box just because i find them so cute to unbox so i'm gonna pop it on here and then we can unbox it together so in here I got some lovely, really cute home stuff that I just couldn't wait to share you. So I went for the White Company home book, which is amazing. Although it is £10 cheaper on Amazon. So I'll pop the Amazon link down below because I paid £29.99 and on Amazon it's £19.99. So just to let you guys know that it is £10 cheaper there. So to match the oven glove... I saw the apron. Now, I didn't see the tea towel, so I'm hoping I'll come across them soon. Um, but I did want to pick up the apron just because I do a lot more cooking and baking at the moment. Um, I bought my Christmas apron. And honestly, I used it so much. Like, literally to death. 
so I thought this is going to come in so handy it looks really cute on the back of the door so I just thought I had to go for the apron as well as the oven glove um I picked up the seashells shower gel refill um this honestly again smells insane and then I picked up three things from the calm range so I actually have an oil diffuser like burner upstairs in our bedroom so I thought I could put this and the diffuser in our bedroom just because it smells really lovely and calming so I'll open this in a minute I picked up the diffuser I also picked up the calm luxurious shower foam which honestly if you haven't tried the white company shower foams before please do they are amazing they are so much fun but also they smell incredible and you get so much more like for your money i feel like with the product um so yeah let me open this so i love how this diffuser looks so different to all the other white company ones like the bottle you literally just pop this off and then put the reed like sticks in and then it's all good to go so i'm so excited to set this up in our bedroom i'm not sure where that book's gonna go yet but let's do all the other stuff first like put it around the house because I cannot wait to put it all about. Do you know what I realise I need? Like neutral cloths, really neutral ones, because I swear, like these are from Tesco's. I can only find like bright coloured ones or like blue ones. I just want black, white, grey, neutral. I feel like that's what I need to find. Anyway. Um, so on the shelf here, I don't know why I didn't even think that I was debating on putting seashells here or not because I've also got a seashells candle and a little shell which is so cute, which is like a little stone. So this is what this little, I don't know what it's called, like a holder looks like. I quite like it. I think it looks really cute. So that is that. I've got the oven mitt here. I do need to get some tea towels. So I think I need to go to B&M and just buy even like plain white ones. I feel like that'll go really nicely. And then behind the door, I've just popped the apron here, um, which feels so soft. So I am really pleased about that. So this is like my new bin. Anything that I get rid of, I just keep popping in here. I feel like we should do the rest now. Thank you. Good guys. morning. So it is now the next day and this is the day that um, this video is actually going live which is nice um, and it's such a nice sunny but crisp day today so I'm really enjoying it Bradley's just made me a coffee he's back at work working from home I don't know how long for but it's nice to have some coffees but I thought I can make my ginger and lemon um, tonic and just show you how I drink it so I either shot it like I literally get a where are they maybe they're in the dishwasher I get um like espresso shot glasses I pour it into one and then me and Bradley will both shot it that's the way I probably have it the most because sometimes I'm in a rush and I feel like it gives me energy quicker but today I feel like having it so I want to have it in a glass like this and then I'm going to cut up some lemon and then have it with some water so yeah that's what I'm going to do have it like this today you can do it with hot water cold water or shot it i just fancy it with cold water i think because i've just had a hot coffee i want something a little bit more refreshing so i'm going to enjoy this bradley would you bradley's over here oh, zoomed in Hi. hello how's your first day back at work been yeah good thanks it's really nice. in your work attire yeah <laughs> would you like a shot of ginger and lemon yes please bradley loves it as well it's like a really good like natural energy drink um, and I put, 
I think I've done it on my Instagram stories of me making it. But I literally follow Lydia Millen's recipe on her blog. Um, and you basically cut up ginger. I think she said around 100 grams. And then I think you grate it. And then you put it in a pan or 500 ml of water. Bring it to the boil. And then you leave it to sit for 45 minutes. And then you literally just add in juices of lemon. So I've got like a lemon squeezer. And then you can put it in here. Lemon squeezer. <laughs> but this is like the strongest way to have ginger. Here you go. Oh, pate and toast and a shot of ginger and lemon. I don't know how he does the whole thing. I have to like do little sips because it burns. But it's amazing. Oh, you're right there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. And I've also got a delivery, which is really exciting to help me organise for the new year. So I'm going to bring this into the front room. So I found this um, like brand on Instagram. It's a small business called Satori and their motto is paper with purpose. And I'm a paying customer. I saw it and I just thought I needed to um, buy it because it looked amazing. But I've just come across this note. So let's open it. That is so cute. So she's popped this in there and I ordered two exciting things. So I'm going to take it out. I just love how simple everything is. So it is so beautifully packaged as well. I love everything about it. Oh, I hate doing this. I hate it when it rips. Oh, I picked up a new planner for the year. This is a beautiful linen planner, as you can see. It, honestly, the quality of this is amazing. And I love how simple it is. It's not too in your face, but it looks so lovely on your desk or anything. Um, I also bought some pencils to go with it, which I've got the branding on, as you can see, which I thought were just so cute. So I went for, I think it's called the linen beige or something i'll pop a link to it down below and i just want to be really organized this year every year i like to get a new planner so things like this are perfect and um, this is a little bit more about herself and then about what all of the planner has inside of it so i think this is more of like a introduction this page and then it starts on january and then you can start planning and i also one thing i loved about it is it's got time limits or time stamps here. So you've got early morning, late morning, early afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, and then late evening. And then notes and priorities. And I love that. I feel like it's a really good way to stay organized. We've got your weekly planner here. So this is from the 3rd till the 9th of Jan. Um, and then again, it's got each date of the year. So I find it so perfect and useful. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. So I'm really happy with this one. Um, they, I think they had four different colours. They had a white linen, this linen, um, and then two other materials which are like just more of like the soft sort of material, um, which is similar to this, but I loved this one. And then the pencils. So I just wanted to show you and I'll pop a link to it down below because I love this. Do you like it, Luna? Do you? Mm, this is so refreshing to have it like this because you get like the spice of the ginger but it's not too much it's so nice mm -mm -mm. i can imagine on like a hot summer's day that that would be perfect it's so funny because i look outside now and it's complete i'll show you is it gonna focus you can see it's like complete blue skies it looks like the nicest day ever um yeah it looks like one of the nicest days ever and it is to be fair but it's so cold so i like it though it's kind of cozy but you get the nice natural light in as well which is really nice um, but I wanted to end this video here because I feel like it's literally gone on and on and on for ages. But I've just missed filming and it's so nice to be back. Um, please let me know in the comments what videos you want to see from me. I have got a list on my phone of loads that I want to film. I want to do like weekly vlogs, which to be fair, I feel like I do anyway. But I do want to do weekly vlogs, um, hauls, kind of what I was doing before, but more home stuff maybe i don't know you let me know in the comments 
but I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll try and list all the products that I showed you from the White Company and things that I got from Christmas and stuff like that down below if I can remember to do every single one. If I forget, then just leave me a comment and then I'll link it for you. But I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you, what's the day today? Wednesday. I'll see you on Sunday for my next video. Say bye Bradley. Bye Bradley. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. Bye.